Look in my eyes, what do you see? Cult of personality. Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elliot Webber and it is that time again folks. It is that time again. Welcome to my 2025 BTCC lineup predictions where we go up and down the grid throughout all the teams and we predict where everyone will be racing for 2025. Obviously, as some of you may know by now, we already know a couple of drivers uh, and where they will be racing. Of course, the reigning, defending, undisputed PTCC champion Jake Hill will be back at MB Motorsport uh, with WSR and BMW. Tom Ingram and Tom Chilton will be back at Accelerate Motorsport or Team Virtue, as they're going to be known as for 2025. Dan Kamish and Ash Shutton will be back at Napa Racing as they are on multi-year deals. Chris Smiley announced earlier today that he will be back at Restart Racing in a pair of new cars for Restart. Um, Aaron Taylor-Smith is virtually confirmed at Powermax Racing, though that has not been officially announced just yet, but all things are looking like he will be back at PMR. Max Hall will be making his BTCC debut with Unlimited Motorsport as they plan a two-car expansion for 2025. So, Unless I've missed anyone, I do think that is the current grid as it stands. But we are going to get straight into this and start off with the reigning, the reigning champions, essentially. So, yes, yeah, starting off with the reigning drivers champions, per se, MB Motorsport and the rest of Team BMW. So, essentially, I'm just going to put this as the entire BMW flock. So, as we know, as I've just mentioned, Jake Hill with the number one is one driver confirmed. Um, now, who do I think will be partnering him in the WSR Team BMW lineup? Well, first of all, I am predicting a second seat at MB Motorsport. So four BMWs, two at MB, two at WSR. Now, filling up the second MB Motorsport seat is, my prediction, Aidan Moffat. Yes. Now, some of you are probably wondering, Elliot, why Aidan Moffat? He didn't really have the best of 2024s with Toyota. Well, honestly, given how Aiden seemingly is better in rear-wheel drive and given how this has been rumoured over the past couple of weeks, uh, not only that, MB Partners, which is another business owned by Mark Blundell, but I believe Mark Blundell's management business, um, they signed a, a deal with LKQ Euro Car Parts, which I do believe Aiden Moffitt has something to do with. Um, I do believe that is actually one of Aiden's ma main sponsors rather than Josh Cook, so... It is, you know, as soon as this announcement was made a couple of weeks ago, it was it was rumoured that Aiden could potentially be on his way to BMW in a second MBC. And honestly, that's how I think it's going. I know there's been some talk of Andrew Watson potentially filling this seat, but honestly, I can see it being Aiden Moffitt. So at the MB side of things at BMW, I'm predicting Jake Hill and Aiden Moffitt. Now, moving on to the Team BMW side, the WSR side of things, realistically. So... First off, Colin Turkington would be another prediction. I think he's going to be back. I know I said that I was predicting him to retire in 2024, but that doesn't seem like the case. So I do see Colin staying for at least at least another year in 2025. And his teammate, this has been a big question, will Adam Morgan stay at the team? Will Aidan Moffitt join the team, as I've just predicted? Um, could Andrew Watson be a contender? All of those all make sense. And all are semi-realistic. However, my prediction for the second BMW seat, the fourth BMW um, for 2025, my prediction is Bobby Thompson. I think Bobby will get the budget. I think Bobby will be back in 2025. And I think he will be a full-time driver. I think that whole BMW fleet, the quartet per se, will be Jake Hill, Aidan Moffat, Colin Turkington, and Bobby Thompson. Now, let's move on to Napa Racing. So Napa Racing UK, the quartet of Ford Focuses. Now just to clear something up, there seems to be a little bit of confusion about what cars they were going to be using for 2025. So for those of you who are confused, Napa will still be using the Ford Focuses at the very least for 2025 before planning to bring in a new car, a new manufacturer in for 2026. So for 2025, 
we are still getting the forward focuses. Don't worry if you're a forward fan. So, as I've mentioned, Dan Kamish and Ash Sutton both have contracts in place, so they are not going anywhere for the foreseeable future. Sam Osborne, I'm filling him in as one of my predictions. Why? His dad owns the team. So, you know, as much, you know, I don't want to be a li I don't want to, you know, bash driver's talents, but I think we all know Sam Osborne isn't the best driver on the grid, but he ha he does have some flashes of brilliance and yeah, I don't see him going elsewhere. Now, as for the fourth seat, this one has sort of been in discussions, not recently, but you know, I'm just going to say it now because I don't see there being anyone else. I think Dan Robottom will once again be filling up the Napa Ford seat. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. No reason for Napa to change. They've still got one of the best lineups on the grid. Obviously, you can have uh, Sutton as a championship contender. You can have Dan Cam as that outsider. You can have Robo, who, you know, while I don't rate him very highly, I'm going to be honest, he is a very good driver. And as for Sam Osborne, as I've mentioned, not the best, but he does have flashes of brilliance. So, yeah, my Napa racing lineup is the same as it was in 2024. Camish, Robo, Sutton, and Osborne. So, now let's move on to Accelerate. So, yes, moving on to Accelerate Motorsport, or Team Virtue, as they're going to be known as in 2025. As mentioned earlier, again, they have already confirmed Tom and Tom, Ingram and Chilton, will be back in the Hyundai i30Ns for 2025. No reason for those two to change. Tom Chilton seemingly is getting back into his old ways, being a front runner, being a race winner. No doubt Tom will once again be there, obviously, because he's confirmed. Obviously, again, for Tom Ingram, he has no reason to change. He's been a championship contender every single year he's been at Accelerate. So, obviously, he's not going to change. And obviously, as we know, just missed out on a second championship in 2024. So, the final two seats. Now, there has been a ton of talk as to who will be filling up these seats. As we know, Dan Zelos is a natural contender for a full season after his very impressive debut uh, at the back end of 2024. And, yeah, he is one of my predictions. I do predict Dan Zelos will be back in 2025 full-time with Accelerate Motorsport. And now, the final seat at Accelerate slash Team Virtue. Now, it was announced a couple of weeks ago or just a week ago that Nick Halstead will not be returning to Accelerate. He worded it like that, though it does seem like he will be taking a behind-the-scenes type of role within the BTCC or with another team. I don't see Nick Halstead coming back as a driver. Fortunately or unfortunately, Nick, I know you're a subscriber. So, um, yeah, best of luck, whatever you choose to do. So, who will fill that final Accelerate C? Now, there has been talk of maybe some drivers coming up from the Mini Challenge. There has been talk of maybe a driver moving on. Uh, and this is my bold prediction, per se. This is, as some of you may know already, I do have a bold prediction of a driver moving to a team that seems completely unlikely. This is that prediction. I am predicting... Andrew Watson to fill the fourth and final seat at Team Virtue Accelerate. Why? Honestly, I don't see him going to BMW. He's already confirmed he won't be going to, he won't be returning to Toyota. I don't really see him going back to Power Max, especially because they've already got, they've only got two TBLs now compared to their three um, that they had in 2024. So yeah, this is the only place I see Andrew Watson kind of going to in a way. This likely isn't going to happen because it's not rumoured. He's not rumoured to move to Accelerate. But I don't know. I just see this happening. I can see Andrew Watson being somewhat more competitive in a Hyundai than he was in the Toyota. I'm not too sure why, but that's just what I've put. So my 2025 Accelerate lineup predictions are Chilton, Ingram, Dan Zelos, and Andrew Watson. Now let's move on to the next team on my list, which I've forgotten off the top of my head. So the final manufacturer team on the grid for 2025, Toyota Gazoo Racing UK, also known as Speedworks. Now, first of all, they have four TBLs again. They have confirmed, well, it was confirmed um, when the TBL list was revealed that Toyota will be sticking with at most four. Obviously, just because there are four TBLs doesn't mean that there will be four drivers. But I'm going to predict a four-car lineup once again for Toyota Gazoo Racing with all four drivers in the Toyota colours. Yet, I don't see there being a satellite team this year. I just see all four drivers within uh, the regular Toyota colours. Hopefully, they change it to that matte black that the uh, WRC and WEC cars had for 2025 because I much prefer the black compared to the white. Um, 
Anyway, Rob Half, I am predicting to be back at Toyota. Josh Cook, I am predicting to be back at Toyota. Rob Half has said he wants to stay. Josh Cook, I don't see him going anywhere else. Plus, he had he was back to his best ways in 2024 with Toyota. So, yeah, those two drivers I can see staying. Now, it's the other two drivers we need to talk about. There have been talks of Ronan Pearson potentially moving to Toyota, and he is one of my predicted drivers. Yep, I am predicting Ronan Pearson to move to Toyota for 2025, returning to the BTCC after losing his seat midway through last year. Hopefully, he can come back and be just as successful as he was in the first half of 2024. Obviously, taking that first win at Brands Hatch this year was great to see, and I really hope he can, he can come back just like that. Now, the final seat at Toyota. Now, there has been talk of Scott Sumpton potentially filling that spot. There's been talks of some other drivers potentially, but I'm not predicting Scott Sumpton at Toyota. I'm not predicting, well, obviously Scott was the only one really rumoured, but I don't see Scott Sumpton at Toyota. We will get into where I think Scott Sumpton will be in 2025, but my prediction for the final seat at Toyota Gazoo Racing for 2025 is Adam Morgan. Yep, that is right. As you already would have seen by now, I'm not predicting him to be back at BMW and WSR. I am predicting him to return to Speedworks Motorsport. For those of you who don't know, Adam Morgan debuted in the BTCC in 2012 with Speedworks Motorsport in a Toyota Aventis, and I feel like it's sort of a completing the circle kind of way, finishing the story to any WWE fans out there. Um, yeah, I see Adam returning to Speedworks. Why? Again, it's the only really place I see him going to. If he was to leave BMW, obviously it's not confirmed he will be leaving WSR, but if he were to leave BMW like I'm predicting him to, I only really see him at Toyota. And I think this would work. I kind of think that Adam would, would do well in the Toyota. I think he needs to go back to front-wheel drive to find his form for some reason. The, the WSR BMW, even though it was his Sicily car that he was driving, it just wasn't working. He's been winless for the past two seasons. He only had one podium in 2024. So I think Adam desperately needs a reset if he wants to return to winning ways. And I think returning to the team that gave him his big break, I think it works. And that's why I'm predicting Adam Morgan to partner Ronan Pearson, Rob Huff and Josh Cook at Toyota. Now let's move on to Power Max Racing. So, yes, Power Max Racing, as mentioned earlier, they have only confirmed two TBLs for 2025. And as, of course, I mentioned earlier, I am predicting Aaron Taylor-Smith to once again return to PMR, the reigning independence champion of 2024. Um, why? Well, he's basically said that he's coming back to PMR, even though there has not been an official announcement by PMR or BTCC, it is looking likely that ATS will be back with PMR now. Who will fill up that second spot there? Once again, a couple of names could be thrown about. Jade Edwards has been has been rumoured to return at PMR. Of course, they gave her um, her debut back in 2020. Mikey Doble is, of course, rumoured to return. However, he said that he might be facing some budget issues for next year. So right now, Mikey Doble is a little bit of an unknown as to whether he'll be on the grid. Um, but, well... I'm predicting Mikey Doble to come back. Why? Well, even though he might have some budget issues, and I really hope he doesn't, 2024, he had almost a breakout year. He didn't really set the world alight, but he has had some flashes of brilliance. Go back to race three at Alton Park in 2024, where he came oh so close, was one lap away from taking his maiden win, but unfortunately it was taken uh, by Jake Hill, because of course Jake was fighting for a championship. Um, but yeah, Mikey Doble, he achieved his maiden podium. I believe he was the Jack Sears Trophy champion in 2024 as well this year. So he got a trophy still at the end of it. Obviously got his maiden podium, as I mentioned. And I think there, uh, you know, I think whatever's working in that Vauxhall Astra, yes, I'm predicting the Vauxhall Astra to come back again for 2025. Um, I don't know. There is something about Mikey Doble that, you know, maybe he's constantly getting better over the past two years. He was m a much better driver in 2024 than he was in 2023. So no doubt, I think Mikey Doble can be even better if he was to return. And I do think 
well, I probably shouldn't say this so early, but I do see Mikey Doble taking a maiden victory in 2025. So a little bit boring, but my prediction for Power Max Racing in 2025 is Aaron Taylor Smith and Mikey Doble. Now let's move on to Restart Racing. So yes, Restart Racing, and there's been a slight change with Restart Racing. They have confirmed that they will be using Hyundai i30Ns for 2025 and already confirming Chris Smiley as their first driver. No real surprise, the team was set up just for him. So of course, Chris Smiley was going to come back. So again, I see no re he Obviously, he's already confirmed, but I was going to predict him to come back anyway because... I didn't see him leaving the team. But the second seat is something that's a little bit interesting. Who will fill that second Hyundai seat uh, with Chris Smiley? A couple of names have been thrown about. Obviously, it's silly season. But my prediction is the man who's currently the top of the list on the Restart Racing rumour mill, Dan Lloyd. Yep, I'm predicting Dan Lloyd to return to the BTCC in the second Hyundai i30N. Why? Obviously, he knows the Taylor family as, as he drove for them in 2018 in a Honda Civic Type R FK2 where he took his first ever win. He also knows the Hyundai i30N from his year at Accelerate in 2022. Not only that, he sort of gave me a hint. He didn't. If you've watched my interview with him, uh, you will know he didn't give me any hint because he had no idea back then. I'm sure Dan knows a little bit now as to what he's doing and this is me predicting it i am predicting restart racing's lineup as chris smiley and dan lloyd now let's move on to unlimited motorsport so unlimited motorsport and as mentioned at the start of the video they have already confirmed max hall will be making his btcc debut with the team in what will be a two car lineup this is something i'm very excited for unlimited motorsport Obviously, risen from the ashes of Team Hard, though I'm going to say this again, they are not Team Hard. Tony Gillum has nothing to do with that team anymore. So don't worry, it's not Team Hard. It is a different team. Um, so yeah, they had a, a fairly decent first season with Daryl DeLeon in their car. Daryl starred in 2024. I'm just going to say that. He was unreal like, this year. And I think with a teammate now, that team will only get better and better in the Cupra Leon. And that is why I am predicting Daryl DeLeon to partner Max Hall at Unlimited Motorsport. I won't be surprised if this happens. I know there's been some talk of DeLeon moving to um, moving to BMW. I think that's nonsense. I don't see that happening. I know there's been some talk of Dexter Patterson maybe coming back. But again, I don't see that happening. Though, I'm usually wrong. So, who knows? Um, but yeah, Max Hall... And Daryl DeLeon as a lineup, that would be solid. And I really hope this is the case at Unlimited Motorsport. Both Daryl and Max Hall have huge amounts of potential. They're both 17 and 18, so they've got huge careers ahead of them. Whether that be in touring cars or not, I hope they are in touring cars for the long game. Um, so, yeah, I just can't wait to see what they can do if this is the lineup, which is what I'm predicting. Um, so, yeah, now let's move on to the new team. That is right. I am predicting a brand new team to join the BTCC grid in 2025. Almost said four. 2025. Now, as some of you would have seen already, there was a familiar team on the TBL list. That being One Motorsport. Obviously, formerly BTC Racing, currently known as One Motorsport. Now, some people were kind of hyped. I was a little bit fooled by this. Um... But yeah, I'm not predicting one motorsport to be back. I am predicting a new team to lease or slash loan the licenses from one motorsport, which is why I am predicting the new team to be Vortex Racing. There has been massive rumours of this new Vortex Racing team joining the BTCC. And with the fact that there are now two Cupra Leons available, because Restart have got high end dies for 2025, I think this makes even more sense, especially if you go onto their website where they have Cupra Leons on display on their website. This just makes a ton of sense to me, and I will not be surprised when this gets announced. I'm saying when because I am that adamant. I'm way more confident in a new team this year than I was last year. So, yeah. But we're not here to talk about the team. We're here to talk about the drivers. My prediction for Vortex Racing's first ever lineup in the BTCC is... Scott Sumpton and Nick Hamilton. Yep, 
I am predicting Sumpton and Hamilton to be in the BTCC with Vortex Racing. Why? Scott Sumpton actually owns his Cupra, which means he can take that wherever the hell he wants to. Uh, and I think he's going to take it to Vortex Racing. Um, so, yeah, I also think Vortex have probably, if they haven't already, I'm assuming they will buy Chris Smiley's Cupra from Restart, which is why I think Nicholas Hamilton will be there. Why? Hamilton's been rumoured to be joining this new team. So, you know, that's the main reason why. And also, he knows the car. You know, he's driven that Cupra in 2021, 2022, 2020, and 2023. So, you know, I know some people don't like Nick, but... You wouldn't believe this. He's actually a good driver. I'm going to keep saying that. Just go back to his Donington Park drive in 2023 where he utterly starred in the wet. If that's not enough proof that Nick deserves to be on the BTCC grid, then I can't help you there. Um, so, yeah, Vortex Racing, new team, Scott Sumpton and Nick Hamilton. So that is my predictions for the 2025 BTCC season. But... Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. Who do you think will be where for 2025? Do you agree with some of my predictions or do you have some of your own? Please let me know in the comments below. I am always open to a discussion as to which drivers will be where. It's the whole point of silly season. Um, thank you guys for watching. Of course, it's been another long one. But thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you're new around here, be sure to like this video. Share with your mates as well because it of course, does help my channel grow. And of course, press that subscribe button because we are firmly on the road to 400 subscribers. I would very much like 400 subscribers by this time next year. So by December 2025, I want 400 subscribers. So we've got a whole year to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see all of you in the next one. Goodbye.